guys, just wanted to come to you with a quick video about Superman Rebirth. So if you haven't read Superman Rebirth, it is one of the best Superman series out so far. Um, it actually started all the way back with Lois and Clark. Uh, it was a small, uh, just a few issues, uh, and you find Lois and Clark um, in, a, in the current universe. Um, it talks about how they came to the uh, present universe from, uh, I think it's uh, Infinity Crisis or one of the crises out. I don't know. Um, and uh, and so they land. There's already a Superman. There's already a Lois. Um, and they're just trying to settle down um, and be a family. And it's, it's awesome. But then, you know, Superman's always trying to help people. He can't not help people. And so I think that's uh, Jurgens. I think that's Dan Jurgens, maybe? Um, so, let me see. I think that's Dan Jurgens. I, I don't really remember. But, um, uh, really excellent uh, few series. I, I wasn't a big Superman fan. I like him enough. Uh, I think the Justice League uh, TV show made him really awesome. Uh, but other than that, I've never really cared for him. I did like the old movies with Christopher Reeves, um, but I haven't really been a huge Superman fan in my life. But this kickstarted me really liking Superman. Um, and so Lois and Clark, I was like, oh, that's interesting. Uh, so maybe Superman's settling down and uh, having a family. That's, that's a really interesting take on the character. Uh, and then kept on going with... Rebirth and Tomasi and uh, Gleason, Peter Tomasi and Patrick Gleason are amazing. Uh, they get Superman. Superman is this bright, cheerful, hopeful guy with super strength, uh, and really, uh, of course, there's nothing that can really you know damage him or hurt him except for uh, the few things like magic, vampires, and and uh, course kryptonite and so uh you know there's not a whole lot that's uh, a red sun energy um there's not a whole lot of stuff that really can hurt him uh and, and so he's always super hopeful and he's just like his character character is just very you know cheerful and 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 hopeful which is um contrasted by batman it's you know brooding and dark and uh pessimistic so you have the optimist, the extreme optimist, and the extreme pessimist, and uh, and that's why Superman works, and that's why Superman and Batman works because one's the one extreme, one's on the other, and uh, to make Superman dark like they did in Man of Steel, and uh, it's just not Superman. Uh, it's not good. Uh, and then you see other other comic books that don't get him. And really, the problem with writing Superman, and here's the here's the big issue. You have to do one of two things to, to be Superman. You have to uh, have a villain that is super powerful, that's stronger than Superman, so like Doomsday. Uh, or you have to have somebody that's super smart, like Lex Luthor. That's why Lex Luthor and Doomsday work, because one's more powerful than Superman, and one's more... Uh, but one smarter than Superman. You have kind of this third tier, which is like they control the weakness of Superman. Uh, but usually those people are fit into one of those two categories, like people who have kryptonite are just smarter than Superman, or people who have magic are just more powerful. I'd consider more powerful than Superman. And so really, the only way for people to be able to write Superman is you have to strip him of his powers in some way. Or make his powers uh, useless and so that's how you write Superman the problem is a lot of people can't write under those um, uh, qualifications and so you end up with a lot of really bad Superman stories because it just seems like it's tiring to do the same things over and over again and they're, they don't really bring new light to the hero uh, but Tomasi Gleason <laughs> Jurgens, they add something new they add uh, a family so they give another weakness to Superman which is that he loves his family uh, and that he wants to protect his family over everything and 
I know everybody talks about like how family is weakness. I feel like family is a strength, and I think they they do a good job for training us. Like super, uh, his family gives Superman a reason to survive. Uh, Lois Lane and uh, Jonathan Kent, it's it's great. Uh, it's really great. And then the, uh, they've started the Super Sons uh, series. I love that. It's really good. Um, they've even added crypto, which I like. So I'm thankful for that. Um, but uh, but yeah. So I'm really sad to see Tomasi and Gleason go. They have done so well, so well in Rebirth. And if you haven't read this issue 45, uh, it is beautiful. Uh, it's just kind of a farewell to the fans, and and they kind of say, hey, you know, everybody's seen the the huge sign that Bendis is coming. It's double page Bendis is coming. We're like, we know, we've seen this for two, three months. Why do we need to keep seeing this? Trying to t hype us up, and I'm like, why are you ruining a good thing? Like. Superman's been one of the best titles, surprisingly, one of the best titles of Rebirth, and you're getting rid of him, you're getting rid of the writers, um, who are on it, I mean, I'll give you, there have been a couple issues that have been strange, like Bizarro World was kind of odd, but, um, it was fun, uh, it, and it really, uh, had portrayed, uh, who Superman was, and, uh, and who Superboy was, and you kind of got to see them in contrast to their opposites, and so that was that was pretty fun, you know. It kept, it was light and funny and comic booky, so you know you can't expect non-comic booky stories in comic books, but um, but yeah, so uh, I'm not really looking forward to Bendis. Uh, Bendis likes to come in and change everything, and uh, I don't know. I'll give him a shot, you know. I know that Bendis has done good stuff, and then other stuff he's done was just kind of, eh. Um, I liked his, uh, uh, Iron, uh not Iron Fist, his Defenders series. I know a lot of people hated it. I thought it was in, uh, cool. There was one, one scene where uh, Iron Fist punches uh, that one guy, and that was just beautifully done. Uh, the villain at the beginning. I think it's the same guy from the Luke Cage TV series. Um, although I will say he was way overpowered. I mean, he's not that important a character that you know, he could stop an Iron Fist punch. But anyways, that's that's Marvel. We don't really care uh, care about Marvel and DC. Um, we'll talk about Marvel in a Marvel movie or Marvel uh, uh, video. But uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so Superman. I'm not excited that Tomasi's leaving, and he does a great homage. He says to to um, John, it's like, hey change happens uh, and it's not always a bad thing and uh, even though you might not like it uh, change is good in an ultimate sense it's just a beautiful farewell to the fans uh, and so uh, if you like Superman you should pick up the Superman Rebirth uh, you should start here and keep going I think they're about to come out and uh, or I think some of them have come out and trade already pick up Superman Rebirth it's really good uh, really well written. Uh, it's fun. There's a few issues where somebody else wrote something and it was lame, but you kind of stick with it until the, the main writer gets back. Because uh, Gleason and Tomasi just knocked this out of the park. One of the best Superman runs, in my opinion. So, anyways, just wanted to say that um, as far as the Superman movie, uh, if they make another Man of Steel movie, I'll be interested to see how they do. I didn't like Man of Steel mostly because it was too dark. He was too brooding. I was like, that's Batman. Why are you trying to paint Superman like Batman? Um, and then they kill uh, uh, kill uh, Zod. Like, no, that's not Superman. He never kills. And people are like, oh well, maybe he does sometimes. I'm like, no. Superman never kills. Get it through your thick skull. He does not kill. That's Superman. If Superman kills, uh, if he killed a, one of his villains, he becomes the, the evil Superman that tries to take over the world like injustice. There's a reason Superman never kills, because he doesn't want to become uh, a villain. He's overly optimistic. So if you're kill, having him kill somebody, then he's not optimistic. He's, by definition, not the character of Superman. 
Um, I think they did better justice for him in the later films. The Justice League was good. Um, the uh, uh, Dawn of Justice was a or, um, Batman vs Superman was okay. Um, uh, it was he was uh, uh, of course he kills Doomsday again. Doomsday might be an exception because the only way to stop Doomsday is to kill him, and then you know he's just going to come back. Um, of course, I don't think that was really Doomsday. There's a lot more to that film that was, that was awful. But anyways, if Superman is killing, then you have a problem. Um, because that's not Superman. Um, he, he doesn't kill his, his villains. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't picked it up, go watch Superman Rebirth. It's all, or go watch Superman Rebirth. Go pick up and read Superman Rebirth. It's excellent. And uh, I'm hopeful to see that I want Peter, uh, or sorry, I want um, Bendis to prove me wrong. Hopefully it'll be really good, you know. Uh, if nothing else, I'm excited to see what, what Tomasi and Gleason have for us next. So peace out. Hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.